showing you how to downgrade your A5 or A5X device to iOS 5.0.1. Uh, you can either be on 5.1 right now or 5.1.1 uh, to be able to downgrade to 5.0.1. But as long as you're on one of those firmwares, uh, you will be able to downgrade to 5.0.1. So this update to Red Snow was just released, um, I believe it was either yesterday or two days ago, and they actually just put out an update for it. Um, they first had 0.9.11 uh, beta 1, and they got beta 2 out, uh, which I currently have right here. Now before we actually start this, I want to go over some of the uh, important points that they posted here. You first of all need your SHSH blobs for 5.0.1. So you can either use Cydia's uh, TSS uh, feature thing, I'm not exactly sure what it is, I, be I believe it like... It fetches like the blobs that they're signing for currently, and then those are just like stored. I believe they, they referred to those as remote blobs right here. Yeah, they're, they're referred to as remote blobs, the one that Cydia fetches for you. So that's if you're jailbroken, and when you open up Cydia, you have like the red numbers at the top. Those are all the ones that are on, that are called remote blobs. So that's one way you can know uh, what blobs you have saved that are remotely saved. Um, or if you use Tiny Umbrella, which I actually have all mine saved for, um, you can see here's all the blobs that I have saved. I have 5.0.1 and so on. I got all of them. Uh, but you can see I got 5.0.1 and 5.0.1 on 9A406 build. Uh, so these are the same exact firmware, just different build. And um, that's what this newest update of Red Snow uh, Beta 2, that it allows you now uh, to restore to 9A406 or 9A405. Um, so that's one thing. So you have to have the SHSH blob saved for 5.0.1 and downgrade. The next thing that is uh, very important to unlockers, um, he said that the A5 downgrade method actually updates to the latest firmware before downgrading to the earlier one. So the process, so this process updates your baseband to whatever is the newest. And he said do not use this method if you rely on unofficial unlocks of your iPhone 4S. He said those who use the temporary uh, SAM technique to unlock their iPhones to specific SIMs uh, shouldn't be affected by this baseband update. So if you use that uh, package in Cydia called SAM to unlock your, your uh, SIM card, you should be fine with this. Uh, but that's not positive. He didn't test that out, or he didn't say that it's been confirmed, that he just said you should not be affected. So that is a possibility that it could um, lose your unlock. But according to what he said, most likely it will not. Uh, he, and he also said he could not test the iPad 2 or the iPad 3 because they do not have those models. Um, so if you have an iPad 2 or iPad 3, they are both the A5 processor. Um, the iPad 3 is the A5X, but it's still like the A5. Uh, so it's basically the same. Um, so he said it should work, but they're not positive. He didn't actually test that. Uh, so he said, um, please let us know how it turns out if you try it out in the comment section below. Um, so if you guys want to read, I'm going to put this link in the description first of all, so you can download it here, and also so you can uh, look at the comments. If you have an iPad, if you have an iPad 2 or an iPad 3, so you can check out the comments, see what other people are saying, if it's working for it or not. Um, I'm going to be using a 4S because that's what I got. I also don't have an iPad 2 or iPad 3. Um, and he also said that you could run into some errors because um, it's a little bit buggy right now, this newest version. And also he said if you're jailbreaking, uh, like if you're using this, if you're using Redstone to jailbreak, he recommends not using this one because it is buggy. And he said uh, to use the newest um, stable version, which would be uh, right here, 0 0.9.10 beta 8. So he recommends using that to jailbreak or anything else. Uh, unless you're specifically want to downgrade, which of course this video is for, and that's what we want to do, so we're going to be using the newest version, of course. Uh, but he said the most known bug is uh, the red snow gets stuck at the waiting for device stage for more than 30 seconds. He said you've hit a GUI uh, bug that will be fixed in the upcoming version. So I'm not sure if it's been fixed in this beta 2 version or not. Uh, we'll see, but if you do run into the problem, I'm assuming we can just cancel out of red snow and open back up and try it again. And it should work. One thing I do want you guys to do before uh, trying this is to right-click on your device here and uh, hit backup, and that'll back up your um, your device just in case something happens here, and uh, it'll be saved in here then. So just make sure to back up your device, and of course, so when you restore, you can also rest you can also back up and have all your settings and stuff. Uh, but that's all I ask you guys to do, and that's all the information you need to know so far. Uh, before doing this, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask me down below, and I'll respond to you and see if I can help you out with your problem. I don't know everything about this process yet, so I'm not, I'm not positive if I can help you out or not, but just go ahead and comment down below, and I'll see uh, if I can help you out. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this now, though. I'm going to quit out of uh, quit out of iTunes there, and let's go to Red Snow here in Extras, and then he said Even More, and then it's in Restore. Okay, yeah, so we just need to go to Restore here. So you will need the IPSW for 5.0.1. I to actually do this, so this website right here, uh, LimeRain.cc, I'll put the link in the description, if you guys want to head over here, 
you select uh, the iPhone and the 4S or the iPad or whatever you want. And then they got all of the build numbers here. So they got 5.0.1, and that'll be 98405 here. And then this one is 98406. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use 98406, which I actually already have downloaded. Um, but you'll go right here and then you just hit download iOS, and it'll uh, give you that. So that's where you guys will head over to download the IPSWs. But I already have it, so you're gonna select that, and you're gonna go to where it is uh, where it's saved. Uh, one second here, my external drive is starting up. All right, um, then I got all my stuff saved right here. So here is 5.0.1.90406. Let's go ahead and select that. And we got a, a pop up here. It says to restore the firmware 5.0.1 on the 4S. The IPSW for firmware 5.1.1 is also required. Please click OK and then select and locate the additional IPSW. All right, so I'm going to have to actually download 5.1.1. I did not download that yet. Uh, so I'll be back once that's finished downloading, and uh, we'll go ahead and get this started. All right, now 5.1.1 has just finished downloading, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK now and select that. And now it gives now it gives us the baseband update warning. Uh, it says if you continue, your baseband will be updated to the very latest iPhone 4 baseband. If you if you rely on an unofficial unlock like Ultra Snow, this will probably cause you to lose it. Sam unlocks of specific Sims should not be affected. And then it asks me want to continue, so yes. And now it tells us, um, enter in recovery mode, your, your device is being sent sent into recovery mode, please wait for it to reboot um, before proceeding. And uh, mine is in recovery mode currently. And now it asks um, for the local blobs or the remote ones. So now in Cydia, if um, it says in red letters on the top, if it says whatever firmwares are there, um, it'll say 5.0.1 or 5.0.1 R1, which is, R1 is uh, 98406. And then 5.0.1 without the R1 is just um, 5.0.198405 uh, build number. And I do have them both uh, saved locally and uh, remotely. So right here it does not matter um, which one to select. But uh, the local one I'm going to do just because uh, so you guys can know exactly how to do that. The remote one you don't have to do anything but the local you do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Uh, in uh, Tiny Umbrella here it shows you where all of the... The SHSH blobs are saved somewhere in okay right here, and it's actually in a hidden directory. So you have to enter that directory by just go ahead and, and copying this right here, and then going to Finder, hitting Go, and then uh, go to Folder, and we gotta move this out of the way, and it's already actually in there. So you're gonna hit hit Go, and here, and here's all of the uh, the SHSH blobs for all my devices, and we'll just have to find the correct one in here. Um, let's see here. You can just select them and then act like you're going to edit them, and then it, it'll uh, you should be able to find it. All right, I believe it's this one. This one's got the uh, the B on it, so I believe that's the second one. So this is what we need. We're going to go ahead and I'm actually going to copy it, and then I'll go ahead and paste it into my downloads folder, and that way we'll get easy access um, using Red Snow over here to find it. We're going to hit local, and then right here it is. Open that. Now it's going to fetch it. All right, so it says it's loading the DMG and now it's working. And it looks like it's doing most of this stuff now. It was paused in the beginning. It took a little bit in the beginning to do to start doing anything, but now it's uh now it's doing something. Um now this is the step where it says waiting for a device. It says if it gets stuck for more than 30 seconds, it's just a GUI error. And uh, like I said that might have been fixed in this newest update. Um, but it just passed it in less than 30 seconds, so we're fine. Um, if it does get stuck there, I would recommend just uh, quitting out of Redstone, either by force quitting it or just um, exiting out if it allows you to, and then uh, restarting the process. And you may have to restore your you may have to restore your device and then uh, do it again. Uh, but I'm not positive on that. You might be able to just run Redstone again. Currently on my iPhone, um, the only thing it's doing is it looks like a restore right now. It's got like the Apple logo and then a bar, a progress bar underneath it. It looks like it's currently being restored. Uh, so just go ahead and let it do all the things that it needs to do, and uh, and I'll be back when it finishes up everything. All right, now it says restore successful, and my phone is booting up currently. I'm gonna keep Redstone open at this point, uh, but it looks like it has finished. It actually took a while. Uh, the whole process maybe took like probably with probably within 10 minutes. But now on my phone, it's got the setup menu. So if we open up iTunes here, so pretty much what happened there was. Um, 
Red Snow did the restore rather than iTunes, and Red Snow did all the other stuff that it needs to do allow, to allow the downgrade to happen. Uh, right now, it's saying the SIM card insert in this iPhone is pin locked, which just allows me. That way, so if someone um, takes my phone or anything and tries to restore it, they can't use uh, they can't use my SIM card or anything like that. Um, that's all that that is. Um, but the restore did work. So now, if we head over to the phone. Um, we uh, we're gonna select and go through the we're gonna go through this startup process and I'll show you that everything does work uh, perfectly fine. Just gonna select the network here and restore from iTunes backup and uh, go ahead and head back to the computer for now. So now um, the computer recognized that the SIM pin was entered. So now we're gonna go ahead and just set up as a new iPhone um, and I'm just gonna name it downgrade. But you can see right here in iTunes it does say software version 5.0.1. So the downgrade did work successfully, and I actually ran into no problems in the red snow. If you guys do anything in problems, though, go ahead and just comment down below, and I'll try to help you out with that. And it does look like everything's working all right. I um, mean, I appreciate you guys to comment down below. If you have an iPad 2 or iPad 3 and you tried this and it works, please go ahead and comment down below um, so, I can, so you can let other people know uh, if it works or not for the iPad 2 or iPad 3. Uh, but it did just work successfully on the... Uh, the 4s. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it down below. That helps me out. Also, if you want my future videos, go ahead and subscribe at the top, and I'll have uh, more. I'll have more um, tutorials to come. The current jailbreak that is going to be released soon uh, for 5.1.1 and 5.1. I'll have um, the updates of the progress of that jailbreak, and then once that is released, I'll have the tutorial out. So if you want any of that content, go ahead and subscribe at the top, and that'll notify you when that content is out. That's it for this video, guys. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter to get tech updates over there. My, my Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I tech every week. But that's it, guys. I'll catch you next one. I'll see you later. We'll just have to find, hit go, and here, and here's, um, currently I'm getting a message from iTunes, something about a SIM card being inserted, uh, SHUT UP!